Hey guys, welcome back for another video at AJ's Car Garage. Check this out. Looks pretty schmick. Not bad for a coat or two. Two coats, exactly, of um, Rust Kill Primer. Now, yeah. um, bit the bullet, ended up taking a few things out of it. And, um, yeah, doing a half decent mask half soccer ball over there covering the brake booster and a few other electrical things in there and um yeah masked up a majority of things that sort of get in the way and i can't exactly get around but anyway um let's have a look and see how we got to this point here all right let's get to it you know what stuff it that is getting cut Today, yeah. Okay, so it's not that great at the moment, but there it is, and well, she's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'll um, cut across there and take that little corner out, and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might um, cut just in here somewhere, tidy that corner up, um, a couple of nicks there, um, yeah, I think I might leave it at that, I don't know, yeah, I've got a few ideas kind of running through my head about it, I might at some point there's a little bit, you know, it's not much, it's still supportive, but there is a bit much weight on there, just for the three spot welds that are underneath there to hold the tray to the body. Yes, I'm sort of thinking an idea on that, that will come later down the track, and, um, yeah because there is I don't know how well that shows up on camera if at all but various amount of play in there so I'm thinking maybe I might utilise that and do like a crossbar type strength support. The idea of cutting that out was to have extra space to be able to turn. I mean, I mean you've only got a certain amount of room to do things. So doing that was to, yeah, open it up so you can twist the pipe around every which way you got to or need to and get things in and out easier because well who doesn't love doing things easy when it comes to cars when cars are such a complicated mother of all things um when it comes to some things anyway that's um kind of all i got time for it's dark out there no harm done in here, I've got those lights now, yeah, but um, yeah, that's that, time's done for today, it's 5.30, I need to go get cleaned up, I need to go get dinner ready, 
Um, yeah, so we'll get back at this tomorrow, maybe. If not, definitely Friday. Um, yeah. Fucking some mozzler shit going on here. Cords everywhere. Let's just undo that. Throw that down there. I need to unplug that anyway. Yeah, that's a bit hard. I can see my wheel through that. There's a big old. A big old gaping hole that shouldn't be there. I might make this hole a bit bigger too. Yeah, my whole sort of idea while modifying this, which probably hindered my modifications a bit, you know, to the point of, you know, cutting holes or, um, you know, doing certain things like that because I kind of had the idea, well, not the idea, but the thought, and I don't even know why now I'm thinking about that thought, because I'm never going to get rid of this car. This car is never going to see another person's hands unless something dramatic happens. This is my pride and joy, it's my baby. No one else is going to be able to get their hands on this thing. Like I said, unless something bad happens. So, yeah, thinking about that thought many, many years ago, I don't even know why. But that thought was to have it <clears throat> able to go back to stock as much as possible one day if for any reason anyone but myself got it and wanted to swap it back to stock but yeah now that i think about it no one will be getting this car no one so yeah i may as well just go here and do what I got to do without worrying about keeping the factory bolt down points like that to um you know have the factory fac factory air box go back in it or you know things like that so um yeah that's that A bit done. I'm done for the day, and we'll see you tomorrow or Friday. About a day ago, I was um, cutting this out to um, have a bit more room for me um, intercooler piping and such to go in and out of there. Um, since then, I tidied up the corner through here a um, little bit under here like I said I was going to and um, yeah I got me um, a flapper disc in there on the grinder and um, smoothed off the edges as best as I could yeah I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me um, go over f this few bits and pieces with the wire wheel and give it a bit more of a clean up I'm ready for a wash down um, yeah, you'll see me fuse box sitting up there um, and probably not the uh, most ideal place to get it but this is up sort of out of the way and I had to undo me wiring harness from up along the top of the wheel arch to give me enough slack to be able to get it up out of there so I can have a bit more room um, but yeah my project is sort of decently 
coming along, I guess. Um, yeah, good enough for me anyway, at this point in time. Until further um, future such need of improvement. <coughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I've got the bracket for my ABS down here. Um, give him a clean up and um, give it a decent coat of paint. Make it look all sort of snazzy, seeing as I'm giving the engine bay a bit of a clean up and um, hopefully a touch up of um, paint so it looks all nice and sort of tidy um but yeah i reckon she'll come along nicely i've gone along and gotten rid of the rest of the <coughs> fiberglass out of there that heat shield matting it's all crumbling falling apart gotten rid of it out of there i'll um get some stick on heat shield stuff in the near future and stick up the back of the firewall and um yeah possibly probably should definitely do both sides but we'll see what funds allow me to do worst case scenario i'll just put some up this side stop it getting to the feet on the pedals and all that and um do the passenger side at a later date um but yeah let's get in and tidy this up a bit more try and set you up somewhere so you can sort of see what i'm doing it's a bit hard i've got nothing to um be able to rest my phone on to get some sort of decent angles for you so you can see what I'm doing. I am trying. But, um, yeah, anyway, enough babble. Let's get to it, get it done. It's all good. As you just seen, gave all of this side a nice quick wire wheel to get most of the shit off it and away. Um, I still got to wash it down. That'll come in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, <coughs> I also off camera just went along and quickly done a couple of places on this side where there's oh excuse me far out indigestion crap 
a couple of bits of paint missing. Um, now, what I'm thinking, because I've been told by a couple of people at this point in time that I don't exactly need that for my setup, as the um, you know standard um, fuel rail has got a four bar fuel pressure regulator in it from a BABF and they're used I'm pretty sure they're used right up to the FGX and all that but um yeah I've been told that that's plenty of um pressure supply for what I've got at this point in time so um oh, yeah so yeah um I might just take that fuel pressure rag out. Um, yeah, I've got the supply line on my fuel um, fuel rail over underneath the um, table over there somewhere. Um, so yeah, the supply will go on there. I won't get them mixed up. I'll know the return's still on the body, more or less. Um, I'll undo that there, and I'll find a, um, a, uh, da, 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 little bolt or something that can fit in there to stop crap getting down into the return line. Um, as for the, I realised, yes, I haven't put anything over it to stop stuff getting down into there but I can also um flush it out before putting the um supply line onto the hard line um you know to get rid of any crap that's on there yeah let's um get this off out the way and um that might open up a little bit of area um, for me to put my catch can if anyone knows what that is under there um, it's a vacuum control of some sort that goes to the um, the um, air intake manifold for the um, butterfly um, psh bloody hell yeah, the BBM for the butterfly system to work <clears throat> sorry I haven't got the right terms I know what I'm talking about and if you're, uh, you've been watching my videos you'll know exactly what I'm talking about where I pulled the um, butterfly system out of my intake manifold over there um, so yeah it does control some sort of vacuum and it hooks up into the heater vacuum system up there as well for the aircon and um, yeah it runs down to control the heater valve on the water lines um, yeah so it is some sort of I don't know it must be some sort of purging system <coughs> but yeah any ideas on what they are drop me a comment down below and let me know but yeah anyway um rambling on a bit let's get this thing out come on okay so we got the fuel pressure regulator out of there um yeah cars are always fun it um didn't want to play ball to start with so i had to um undo the um an fitting off the regulator itself <coughs> and um yeah pry the um hose off the fitting that way and yeah do by doing that ah. Sorry, doing that, um, 
all I did was yeah, it's a bit hard to um, explain with one hand but imagine the hose was on the barb fitting push the screw flat headed screwdriver down between the hose and the fitting and the, the barb section and um, sort of try and twist it as you push the screwdriver down between the rubber and the fitting and um yeah got him off um got a bolt in there just tightened up um it's a little bit small but it doesn't matter the clamp done it up tight enough for it to be suffice at the moment it's only got to stop getting shit in there it's not actually staying in there permanently so um yeah it's a bit a bit more open in there to um be able to do something with um yeah like i said i might um put me oil catch can down in there so um yeah i'm thinking i might um put him in here, in here somewhere like that um uh, so yeah well um hopefully come up with something to put it there so uh, um where's this that'll sit somewhere in there like that that'll be going up that way so hopefully it might look something like that and um yeah that so that'll be sitting up so the harness is sitting up on the windscreen there now will be sitting up through these two hooks so hopefully it'll look something a little like that nice and clean out of the way sorry it's a bit hard to show you exactly what i'm talking about being one-handed um but yeah anyway that's the idea so hopefully that will um, come to fruition in a little while after I clean up and tidy up this um, engine bay <sighs> All right, now that's it I'll well, jump in there and have a quick geezer and see what's going on in there back to you in a minute alright so it's nearly ready for a wash down I've got all cables away from over here and everything as you can see all hanging up over there um everything from here is out of the way as best as possible um so and tidy a couple of little things up before i move it out but um yeah see it's pretty much ready to be moved out and um washed down i'll um get in there and try and blow some shit out of there before I wash it down but um yeah she's pretty much ready uh, um yeah I'm going to I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna take out of it but I'm gonna do something something over here um mark that off and get the cutting in there and see Oh, that one. Where's my white marker? Over here. Let's see what we can do. So let's get to it and I'll show you what I come up with. Alright, so that's <coughs> basically how that's gonna look. Um we'll get that cut out and go from there 
Oh. Got our square cut out nicely. Um, marking it out, I didn't take as much notice as I probably should have as I did over here. Um, you know, marking it out and whatnot. Um, and, you know, as you can see, this little flap here is <coughs> my inner um, inside underneath bracket for the quarter panel that holds it from the inside. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's there. Looking pretty good. Yeah, anyway, so this is basically ready for the next um, stage in the process. Now yeah, you just might be thinking I'm trying to rush it. You guys are right. Um, time is sort of of the essence. Um, you know, the engine's out. So I figured I might as well give the engine bay a decent sort of tidy up while it's out. Lick of paint, you know, freshen it up nicely. It is 24, 25 years of old. Um, 1999. Um, January, February, I think this come out of the, um, manufacturer's shop. So, 24 or 25 years worth of original paint. Doesn't look too bad, but it could definitely use a touch-up. Um, yeah, so, um, <coughs> thought I'd do that. While the engine's out of the engine bay, got a whole lot more room to do stuff with and to get things done. And, you know, I could be doing a professional job, you know, taking the ABS modulator out with all the brake lines and the brake booster and the heater lines and, you know, wiring harness and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But, you know, time is of the essence, you've got to be quick. So I'm just going to do a bit of a mask up job and make sure all that sort of stuff's um, taped up. Yeah, try and stop rambling on a bit. Um, yeah, a couple of days, have that cleaned down and hopefully have some paint on it, which will be good. Um, yeah, so... I think things are going all right. I'm saying that. Um, I hope you are enjoying watching these videos. Um, hopefully they're giving you a little bit of um, knowledge, uh, motivation maybe. Um, or insight as to what goes on when doing custom work to your own vehicle. Oh, hi guys. Back for another day working on the um, AU Fairlane, getting the engine bay all sorted out, ready for a freshen up with um, a bit of paint. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I was having a bit of rant and rave before. Um, about, you know, doing it quick and easy, budget style, um, well, you know, I sort of bit the bullet hardcore a bit this morning, and, well, you know, not much has really changed since you last seen it, to be honest, except I've pulled of everything that I sort of can without, you know, having to deal with oil and all that sort of biz. Um, yeah, I've just gone along and tidied shit up so I can get it out the way easier when it comes to a bit of paint. I'm thinking I might make that easier to see and find, but, um, yeah, I went ahead and um, put together my engine support so I can hold up my auto while I move it out and wash it and do what I've got to do. 
Um, but yeah, she's um, oh, also went along and um, and touched these up a bit around here across the top and got rid of any sort of surface rust to a certain degree. Um, but so what I will be using when it comes to paint, um, which won't be like a gloss. So I've got um, cold galvanizing paint, anti-corrosive primer, top coat. Um, yeah, nothing too special. Should um, deal with the surface rust. And um, yeah, then um, yeah, a matte black finish with um, acrylic lacquer. So yeah, it won't look too bad. You've seen the paint on here before. It's what I've painted my um, brace bar here with. Yeah, shouldn't look too bad. Um, so in the next little bit, I'll move the trike now. Move this out, <clears throat> get it washed down, and do a bit of clean up around here. Go to town, whatnot, whichever happens first. And yeah, by the time I've done that, she should be ready to move in underneath here again and um yeah have a couple of coats of paint put on it so yeah anyway let's get this thing um ready to be moved out well it is ready to be moved out let's get it gone let's get it moved all right so i've just finished oh just about to finish given the engine bay a bit of a degrease stuff dries kind of quick it's a bit annoying i'm gonna give the sides a bit of a wash down as well yeah ready to give it a wash uh, I'll um, set you up somewhere in a minute, so just going to have a bit of a look going that, and um, yeah, we'll get to it in a minute.
with the air gun, but acetone dissolves. You know, it takes a little bit, but she's gone. We'll um, give it all a quick spray with this stuff. Should evaporate any water laying around. So, just had a big, big drama, big issue come up, I don't know, well... Slipped out of my hand and crossed my head light. I don't know how well it's coming up, if you can see it at all. But check all that out. The acetone is basically eaten at the plastic and fudged it all up. It's not too bad. Light. On the face of the lens really it's more up here a little bit down here but um yeah I'm up for a driver's side headlight to um you know keep it clean and tidy and all that because there look at that she's schmick over here and that was looking the same up until five minutes ago I might be able to buff it out I don't know I'm gonna give it a shot but we'll see what happens that'll be at a later date <sighs> things just keep adding up it's rather annoying anyway um, she's clean and I'll let it sit here, air dry, and um, yeah, come back and I don't know if I've got time today, it's about 3 o'clock nearly, probably won't have time today, but I might get an undercoat down on this side maybe, or yeah, no, like I said, it's getting late, it's 3 o'clock. I've got to go to town, get some paint, and um, uh, do a couple other things. Go to the shops, get some stuff for the kids, and yeah, depending on what time I get back, I probably won't have time, but I'll see what it says. Anyway, see you soon. It's late. I need to go chill out. And, um, yeah, right. <laughs> relax a bit. Anyway, um, yeah, hope you are enjoying my content. Hope you are enjoying your afternoon, your evening, night, morning. Um, yeah, whatever you are doing, I hope you're enjoying it. And, um, yeah stay safe and take it easy you doing whatever you're doing and i'll see you on the next one peace <laughs>